Hi guys and welcome back. We just got home from camping over the holiday weekend. And one night, Chris says to me, I want more chickens. And I'm like, huh, what? Absolutely not. We just got our first six three months ago. I'm good. He further basically gives me uh, a whole spiel on why we should raise chickens during the summer, how much easier it'll be because we could build something in the coop and not have to raise them in the guest bedroom like we did with the first six. Now, some of you have seen my four part series that we did when we completely remodeled that barn right there, built on a chicken run. If you haven't, please go check it out. They will be in the description box. I'll link them up top during this video. But it wasn't very pleasant raising six chickens in our guest bedroom, especially once they got older. So now that it is July, we want to build a brooder out in the coop. Um, and again, for those who've seen that video, you know that we have two separate parts in that barn. So we're thinking to put a brooder out there. It won't be so hard to keep them warm. We will not be using a heat lamp again. So in the end, he convinced me to get more chickens. So I go to pick the chickens up in a couple days. So we're kind of on a time crunch per usual, like we were last time. So we're gonna begin building the little uh, brooder out in the coop today. I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do. I'm not even sure what we're doing. It's more of Chris's plan. Uh, so I'm gonna empty out the camper, get everything put away, change, head back out to the coop. And yeah, we get six more chickens in two days. It's crazy. So we had our first uh, camping getaway with leaving the girls with the chicken, automatic chicken door and all that kind of stuff. Um, everything went great. We have a camera in there. We could watch them every day. Had plenty of food and water before we left. That chicken guard automatic door was the best investment for this coop. What we're trying to do now is just find supplies that we have laying around instead of having to buy anything. So Chris has a plan and I'm just gonna help and roll with it. You did so good this weekend, girls. You did so good. So I'm gonna take you in here. Some of you have seen this in our last video but I think we're going to start them off over here and then over the next month or so, then kind of move them over here so they can see the other hens and the hens can see the chicks so that they'll get used to each other. Okay, just kidding. We're gonna have to do it in this corner um, so that when we do move it, it'll fit under here, just like that. Um, and then all the girls came in, but see that way the girls will be able to see the chicks and get used to being around them. Ball number one. Nice. All right, we just put this little part on and now we're just gonna add hardware cloth to it to keep the bedding in. But basically, it's, it's almost done. Well, we're gonna do a little test run here <laughs> to make sure we did it right. Oh boy, hold on. So that'll be the end where they'll end up just so everybody can get used to everybody, but we might end up making it bigger now that we see it. The floor is concrete, so if it gets dirty or whatever, it's easy to clean up. So now we're gonna add hardware cloth to it. First piece of hardware cloth, it's it to a T, which is lucky. very lucky. Boom, that's awesome. First thing that's actually been easy in this whole process of doing everything that <laughs> with chickens. It's about time we caught a break. Now we're just screwing it so it doesn't have much oh, of a gap. Screws will go through though. Oh, just kidding. <laughs> Found some short nails. Now he's just putting them all along the, the bottom to secure it a little more. Great job. Easy enough. Easy, for sure. All right, we're putting it in. Just screwing it into the wall. 
Okay, so we decided to go ahead and make it bigger just because of what we're using for the food and water, which I know is super big, but we had a hell of a time keeping everything clean with the ones that didn't hang, you know, the little, little ones that you get for chicks. And we said we're not doing that again, so we're going to go ahead and start with the big ones and see how they do just to make our life easier and make it less messy. So we're going to go ahead and make it bigger, but we're just going to use hardware cloth to fill the gap. All right, he got this side with the hardware cloth on to fill the gaps. And now he's doing the same thing on this side to fill in the gaps. I love it. They have plenty of room. They'll have plenty of food and water that can't get knocked over and make a mess. And then put the heat plate back down here. So we can't hang. No, we can't. Oh, we can. Just kidding. He said he's going to make it adjustable somehow, which is pretty cool. Look at you. That's why I'm with this guy. Look at him. Look at his little face. No, it's, not it's, not face. <laughs> it's like 80-something degrees in here. Hold on. I have my little thermostat. Yep, 86 degrees in here. We are sweating like crazy. It's coming together. I'm not sure if in the end these will work. I know they're huge and they're for like adult hens. Um, but again, it's just to make our life easier and less mess, less waste. So we're just gonna test it out and see how it goes. But uh, I will let you know if this works or not later down the road. So Chris is at the store right now getting some more supplies. We didn't think we were gonna have to buy anything but it turns out we do have to get a couple of things that we don't have, which is fine. It's nothing compared to what we had to spend on um, the bigger projects, okay? Complain there. I was doing some research and I found some attachments that you can buy for the little chick food and watering things that I showed you uh, yesterday. I had no idea that was available. Uh, they also make them with little things on them so you can hang them. Chris just kind of threw this at me so didn't have time to research much. It's not a big deal. I still have the stuff from uh, the first flock. So we'll make things work if need be, but it's good to know. So if, if you guys are looking for that or need something like that to make your life easier, um, they have attachments and they make ones that have uh, the ability to hang. So there you go. Tomorrow at 11 a.m. I pick up the babies. We got the confirmation, got the time slot. So I'm gonna be bright eyed and bushy tailed picking up my babies tomorrow. So I know I did mention that I'm not doing the heat lamp this time. I've read so many horror stories and seen a lot of videos where people's coops have burned down, their houses have burned down. Thank God we were lucky when we used the heat lamp um, the whole time with the other girls. Um, but I did find this heat plate. Nothing is sponsored in this video, by the way. I've used all my own money to purchase everything. Um, but it's this really neat heat plate that you kind of push a button on all four legs. The legs kind of slide in and they're adjustable. So you can make it a different height on both sides if you have smaller and bigger chicks. Um, and... It gets pretty tall, which is really nice. So you can use it if need be for an extended period of time for your babies. Okay, sorry, my phone decided to die. Uh, but yeah, it's not as much of a risk um, like having a heat lamp. So it's a lot safer. It'll make me feel a lot better using the heat plate. But yeah, that was really all I was trying to say. I got it off of Amazon. I will link it down below. So if you're looking for something other than a heat lamp, um, obviously I haven't used it yet. But by the time this video goes up, um, if it's still on there, if this is in the video, then you know I like it. I'm just glad there's other options out there. It's not worth the risk. Okay, he's home. The storm is holding off. He is going to drill into a Menards bucket for their water instead of using the water we have down there. Um, so a little change of plan, but not a big deal. So actually, I think that'll be a lot easier. Um, maybe. 
Kind of, sort of. I don't know. We'll see. We're going to see what happens tomorrow. That's all that matters. These little cups are also from rent a coop which is pretty cool um again off of amazon and they send you one for free which is so nice so we're going to put three of these little cups um in the holes oh uh, yeah since we built the coop a little bit bigger the brooder a little bit bigger than we originally thought we figure we can go with the bigger watering system that way we can reuse it down the line um and i think these cups just work nice like she said so Mm -hmm. We know they're drinking when they need to be. Yep. Not getting the water dirty. Mm -hmm. Merry Christmas, like. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. <laughs> Christmas Merry Christmas, girls. <laughs> All right, that's done. So that's the rope cleat. Get your tie off. So like I said, you can raise it and lower it on that now. Cool. Letting the girls out for their daily free range time <laughs> but i don't know why she's stuck in there come on out what are you doing silly go that way no 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 go that way there you go go ahead keep going there you go <laughs> they love going under this tree but we try and let them out every day to get some free range time when we're out here they deserve it so as i did is i made a loop here so that we can raise and lower this when we need to. Okay. Just a little slip knot is all it is. Okay. So it can go up. Obviously never that high, but yeah. showcase it. Yeah. And then we'll start off obviously very low. Yeah. And then put this here just to kind of hold it in place to keep it away so it doesn't slide over here. Cool. And then we just have a rope cleat. So once we get up to the right height, we can tie that off. Okay. And make the appropriate knot. But cool. The idea. Well, I hope this works, but I'm going to go try and find the first chick feeders we use just in case, but I think we're set. All right, just did the electric for the heat plate and lowered these a bit. Again, that's going to be trial and error um, when we get the girls tomorrow. This is the furthest they've ever gone. Every day they're getting a little more ballsy. You are pushing your limits. What are you doing? <laughs> Who is hot? It is hot out here, but we finally got all that situated, which is super exciting. So I will fill the food and water in the morning, turn their heat plate on right before I leave because it needs time to heat up. But I will see you guys in the morning on my way to get my girls. It is time. <laughs> I am so excited. Right before I left, actually about a half an hour before I left, I turned uh, their heat plate on, so that's nice and hot by the time I get back home. I wanted to mention too, I forgot to tell you that I did take a lot of the bedding out that we put in last night. It just seemed like a obnoxious amount of bedding for six little chicks. Also, I put two baking racks like cooling racks down kind of in front of the water and the feeder to try and help keep bedding out of the water and the food because if you are a chicken owner um you know that the shavings just soak up that water i can't tell you how many times a day with the first six i went in and their water is bone dry because there was just it was just filled with shavings and those shavings just sucked up all that water so got the baking rack or cooling rack idea from somebody else that's totally not my idea but um i'm it seems like it would make sense to help keep it cleaner and keep the shavings out and whatnot so that's the things i did before i left so now it is time to go to tractor supply get my supplies and then pick up my chicks at the hatchery we got the babies they're in there all right we're heading home girls Bringing the girls home. Here's your home, girls. Alrighty. I haven't even seen them yet. I'm so excited. Alright, let's see what they look like. Oh my goodness, they're so little. Oh my gosh, okay. 
Oh, look how sweet. Look at you, babies. You are so little, oh my god. I did not think they were going to be this little. Oh my goodness gracious. You are the sweetest little thing. Hold on, let me get them all out. So I dipped all their little beaks in the water. I think that's gonna be too big for right now. So I put the little waterer in here. Um, and now they're checking out the food. Just wanting them to know where everything is. They're doing so good. They're so sweet and so little. I can't believe how small they are. So we have a camera right there to be able to watch them. And Chris said, he counted seven, then we have seven chicks. I just realized it. one of them was hiding under the heat plate. They messed up. We have seven chicks. <laughs> oh well. Oh my God, it is only 3.12, 3.13, it is pouring down rain, oh no, look at this, it's insane right now, oh my god, oh my god, ugh, Jesus, please. I feel so bad for the babies. All right, the storm has let up. Oh, all my big girls are out in their run, but I want to check on the babies. Um, that was a wild storm and it's been going on for a couple hours, um, but I wanna make sure they're okay. So I'm running out here. It's still raining a little bit, but um, I just wanna check on them. What are you girls doing out here? Silly. All right. Little girls, you okay? Huh? Hi, sweetie. Are you girlies okay? Are you okay, girls? The sweet babies. <laughs> Was that scary? Oh, you're so cute. I just love you so much. You girls okay? Yeah, that was scary, wasn't it? Oh, that was scary. Yeah, oh, there's the other one. The girl's okay. You're okay. <laughs> the chicks have proved me wrong. Several of them are drinking out of these cups, whereas then other ones of them are drinking out of here. I did add some rocks in those because I learned it from a farmer. He's had his baby ch chicks drown in those cups. So he gave the advice to add little pebbles to them. So I did that. Sorry, I don't want to put my bright light on them. But as you can see, they're just moving and grooving and living their best life, eating the food. The food is still too big and really obnoxious. But for the time being, I'm just going to leave it instead of using the small one because I would transition them on that in a week or two. See, she's drinking out of it. There you go, good girl. Just as a backup for any of them that don't get to that one or to the cups, I like having the smaller one um, just so everybody is getting water. But I'm so glad they're able to use the cups. Look at that sweet little face. Your little face is so cute. <laughs> All right, I'm getting ready for work. It is almost 6.30 in the morning. We went down last night and tried to just um, put some hardware cloth on some gaps that um, I was just nervous about. I was questioning even having them um, being brooded down there. And we even thought about bringing them in, but hopefully all is well. Um, if not, I will be very upset. All right, here we go. Hi, babies. Hi, sweet girls. What are you 
doing? All right, now they're all over here. Eating and drinking. That was so nerve wracking last night. It dropped down to, I think, 71. But they're all good. So night one, down. But when it's the first time of something, you know, you get a little nervous. All right, off to work I go. Check on them when I get home. Good morning. It is around 7.30 in the morning. I'm just chilling on my front porch, having my coffee. I have not updated you guys. It's been four days and the chicks are doing great. They are running around that little brooder. They come in and out from under the heat plate a lot during the day. They do huddle under it at night since it is dropping. Um, into the 60s, but they are thriving. They seem super happy. We did more predator proofing um, out there since they are staying outside. I will say that I don't think I will ever do the brooding process inside again. I think this is the only way I'm gonna do it, get my chicks from a hatchery and do the brooder in the barn out there. It's just so much easier. They have so much more room doesn't stink and I think they seem happier than when we did it the first time around. I am obsessed with them. I get why people continuously keep getting chicks because they're just so adorable. We did switch the food um, back to like the little chick food container. The other one was just too big. <laughs> But we kept both waters in there for now. As they get older, we'll uh, put the big uh, big hanging food back in there so that they can't knock it over. Hi, Taco. This is Taco. My little cat, Taco. He's such a sweetie. But yeah, this has been awesome. Um, and I can't wait to update you guys. Our big girls are very close to uh, starting to lay their first eggs. So that's going to be super exciting when that happens. We just put two new roost bars in the coop yesterday just so they are above the nesting boxes and then i think either the end of this week or next week we'll take off what we use to block off the nesting boxes so that they can start getting in there and possibly start laying so that's super exciting but all is well over here my coffee is empty i need to go get some more but all is good updates coming soon and thanks for watching per usual and if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate it. And I will see you guys on my next one. Thanks for watching.